All right, so in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to do a couple of quick and easy things called adding and subtracting polynomials. Um, something you need to be doing when you are typing these in, you better make sure that you keep everything in standard form. Now, the standard form means that your exponents descend. So, for example, see that power of 3? We're going to start with the power of 3, then we'll work with the, the, the squared, then work our way down to the power of 1, and then we'll finish up with a constant. So I'm going to write this a little bit bigger, okay? In case you have a hard time seeing it, it says negative 5 k cubed minus 6k plus 1. Now, if there's nothing on the outside of the parentheses, I just want to let you know, you don't even have to have them. So I'm just going to take them away because it's really not that big of a deal. Just like see this plus right here? I got parentheses. Well, that positive is not going to change anything inside of it. So I'm just going to put minus 6 k squared plus 5k. Now literally all we got to do on this guy right here is just look for some like terms that we can combine. So right now I got negative 5k cubed. I don't see any other cubes, k cubes. So I'm going to go over here. Check this out. I got a negative 6k and I got a positive 5k. So if you didn't know that's just a negative k, all right, if you're like, what's negative 6k plus 5k, and you're like, okay, that's negative 1k, but we're not going to put the coefficient of 1 in front of it, okay? We're just going to leave it as negative k, all right? So I got negative 5, that's supposed to be a 5. Come on now, let's do a better job of making a 5. k cubed, and I got a minus k, and then I got a plus 1, and I got minus 6k squared. Now, this is correct. It is an equivalent expression, and it is expanded. Everything's being, all the terms have been combined, but we're not in standard form. In standard form, you have to lead out with the highest exponent. So this is a degree of 3. And then we got to follow it with the next highest exponent, which is this minus 6k squared. Then we got to follow it with the minus k, and then we finish it with a plus 1. And that's how I'm going to type it in into standard form. So you got to make sure that when you're typing these in, they better be in standard form. So we're going to start out with negative 5, k, okay, then you just raise it to the power of 3, okay? Then we get, let's see here, what do we have? Negative 6k squared, all right, minus 6k squared. Then we're just going to put a minus k. And then a plus 1, just like that. So make sure you have it in descending order, where the powers are in descending order, where the exponents are in descending order. Okay? All right, let's go back over here. and Let's do one, let's do one more, just for fun. Okay, so you know what to do. Hopefully it'll give us a hard one. Okay, it's not, not too bad, not too hard, not too easy. All right, so one thing you're going to notice, what I'm going to do, whenever I do this, I'm just going to take the parentheses away because this parentheses is not going to be impacted by anything on the outside of it. So I'm just going to write negative 2k cubed minus 7k squared plus 5k. Now, if you want to, here's another way of doing it. In fact, I like doing this more than I like adding things horizontally. I like to add things where they're vertical. So you see where it says plus 6k squared? I'm just going to put plus 6k squared. And then it says plus 3k, so I'll put plus 3k, just like that. So it's just nice and vertical. I'm just placing this right underneath it. Now we have negative 2k cubed. We've got a negative 7 and a positive 6. Now if you're not very good at adding integers, you could always use a calculator and just type in negative 7 plus 6 and see it's a negative 1. But we're not going to write negative 1k squared. We're just going to put minus k squared. And these are like terms. We're just going to put plus 8k. And there we go. That's your answer in standard form. So I'll go type that in. Oh, wrong, wrong screen. There we go. All right, so <clears throat> we have minus 2, okay, to the power of 3. All right, and what do we end up having? Negative k squared, minus k squared, minus k to the power of 2. And then I think we had 8k at the end, correct? Yeah, 8k at the end. I just don't want to make silly mistakes, okay? Because I'd rather get them right than get them wrong. So that's how you add. Just make, all you got to do is just add like 
add like terms. That's it. Okay, now subtracting is a little bit trickier. It's not that bad. <clears throat> Won't take that long. Hopefully you can see this. I'm just going to write it right underneath here. All right, so we have 4r squared minus 3r plus 2. And we are taking away a negative r squared minus 3r. So we have to subtract, okay? We still have to keep it in what? Standard form. So I'm going to do two things. Ready? you got to pay very close attention to this subtraction. All right, you're taking away not just the first term. You're taking away this term, and you're taking away this term as well. Okay? So when we're doing this, one thing I like to do is I like to say, forget you parentheses. We don't have to worry about you. All right? However, we do need to worry about this because there's a negative on the outside. If there's a negative on the outside, it impacts everything that's on the inside because a negative minus a negative makes it a positive. So I'm going to put r squared. So a negative times negative equals a positive. And a negative also times another negative, or if we subtract a negative, that makes it a positive. So I've got to put plus 3r. And then once again, i got to add like terms. So if I'm adding like terms, I get 4r squared plus, literally this is 1r squared, and that gives us a total of 5r squared. Now this negative 3r and this positive 3r, those are additive inverses, and they just totally cancel each other out to a whole lot of nothing. And then I had got a plus 2 at the end. And that's it. I'm done. Ta-da! <clears throat> so what, what are the steps? Okay, let's focus on the steps. So step number one, what did I do? I actually distributed, okay? I distributed, that's supposed to be the word distributed, okay? The negative. Okay? So I distributed the negative sign right there. And step two, I just combine like terms. So sometimes students, they subtract and then they subtract again. I, I'm just subtracting one. So basically when you multiply this negative throughout this expression, you're just applying the net, you're subtracting everything. So you're applying that negative. And then all you do is combine like terms. So I combined, let's make it active and not passive. Combine like terms. So it's more of a, and instead of distributed, let's make it distribute. Distribute the negative. Combine like terms. That's it. So 5r squared plus 2. 5r squared plus 2. 5r squared plus 2. All right. I think, I think we got it. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do one more. Ooh, I like it. Yeah. We got two trinomials right now. Two trinomials. Now, what did I say I like to do? This parentheses right here, it doesn't really matter. You can just write it without it. So I'll put f cubed minus 5f plus 25. So we're just rewriting it. Now, I told you I like to take this negative and distribute it inside everything inside of that parentheses. So what does that leave me with? That leaves me with a negative 4f squared. Well, you know what? I, I, I don't see any other f squared, so I'm just going to um, just gonna stick it off to the side right here. Let's put minus 4f squared. Now, a negative times negative is a positive, so that leaves me with a positive 12f's, so right there, and I got a negative times a 9, which makes that a negative 9. So let's go ahead and combine our like terms. We distributed, now we're going to combine our like terms. So we got f cubed. I got 12 minus 5, which is 7. Once again, if you don't like doing this in your head, and you're like, I don't know what to do, just do negative 5 plus 12. There you go in the calculator. See, it's a 7, so you don't have to worry. You got 25 minus 9, which is a 16. And you're like, I wouldn't be able to do that in my head. It's okay, just do 25 minus 9. You get a 16, just like that. So you know I'm telling you the truth. Then we got minus 4 f squared. Now you'll notice we are not in standard form, so we need to make it a standard form. So how do we do that? Put all the cubes up front, then we follow it with the 4f squared, then we follow it with the 7f, and then we follow it with the 16, and voila, we are done. Okay? So f cubed minus 4f squared plus 7f plus 16. All right? Here we go. So we type in f, we raise that sucker to the power of 3. All right, then we take our time. Minus 
4f squared, and then plus 7f. All right, plus 7f, and then plus 16. All right, and then you just, you just trust yourself. You did the right process. You trust yourself. And when you trust yourself, you are at just the process. The numbers are going to change, but you just trust in the process. What, were the pro what was the process again? I distributed the negative throughout, and then I combined like terms. So there we go. I distributed the negative, which you can see right here. Distributed the negative. Got my answers. So if you're wondering what I did, here's the negative 4f squared. There it is right there. Okay? All right? Then I did a negative times a negative, which made that a positive. And I did a negative times a positive, which kept it a negative. So I distributed and I combined like terms, and voila, there's my answer. Hope this video was helpful. Um, that's, that's all you got to do on this, and you'll get 100. Have a good day.